All right, good Tuesday morning. Obviously, this is our first Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. It's going to be a long day and night here in the Carolinas. We've got a significant severe weather outbreak that is starting to take shape to our west and is going to move our way. Now, it's likely going to come in two waves. So the first wave is going to happen later this afternoon. We could see isolated severe storms pop up, especially in the mountains, foothills, and the upstate of South Carolina. But tonight looks to be the big outbreak heading our way, and overnight, the nighttime cooling, the mountains, none of that is going to deter the severe weather threat with this system. So I want everyone to take these warnings very seriously here in the next 24 hours or so. I'm going to put a link in my blog here to some of the tools online that you can access to get severe weather information during the overnight hours, primarily Twitter and Facebook. I send those warnings out immediately, and I also will be streaming tonight if we do tornado uh, warnings on Ustream. Uh, if you can't get that on your phone, get the app from the uh, from the App Store, the Ustream app. It's free. You can stream our uh, stream on your phone, your iPad, and also Android and BlackBerry devices as well. Let's get right to what's going to happen tonight. Um, the first thing I want to take a look at is what's the current situation. Here's the current map. You can see what's going on. We've got this a line which is kind of dying, but we've seen numerous reports of tornadoes embedded in this squall line. But if you look over the upstate of South Carolina into the western part of North Carolina, we're getting some new development. We'll have to keep an eye on these cells. Right now, they don't appear to be rotating, but there's so much shear in the atmosphere, we're going to have to keep an eye on it. You can see this mess back towards the west. We're going to start turning some things off here and take a look at the... Uh, the outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center. You can see right there in the pink or the purple, that is our high risk area, which includes Chattanooga down to Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and Columbus, Mississippi. The red is the moderate risk, which is actually all the way into the western part of our area, which includes parts of Watauga, Avery, Burke, and Rutherford County, and all of us are under the slight risk. It, this really is not all that important, but we could see this actually shifted to the east. Tornado potential, this is as a percentage. Um, you look over on the left here, this is the bar. Percentage-wise, the purple, 30% probability of a tornado within any one point, 25 miles of any one point on the map. Severe hail, uh, the red, you can see that's 45 to 50%. Severe wind, Notice how we are in the 30 to 40 percent range, and then the red is above 45 percent. And then as we look at the tornado probabilities, uh, this is really the area we're watching for tornadoes uh, coming up later tonight. Let's take a look at some model data. I'm going to start overlaying some data on here from the NAM. The first thing you're going to see are the 300 millibar heights. Uh, that you see on there right now. One of the things I want to put on here as well is the vorticity uh, at 500 millibars. So we'll put that on there as well. And we're going to go back and forth. This was the run. Let me see if we can't get this morning's run in there. I don't know if this morning's run has come in. There's the 6Z. Let's see if the 12Z. Uh, 12Z is in there. So here's the 12Z data. And I want you to watch what happens as I go out into the future here. Notice the vorticity moving in. Notice here comes our trough, our 300 millibar trough. Um, we'll go out to this morning. Here's our big area of vorticity. And uh, one thing of note, and I talked about this earlier in a tweet, is the negative tilt to this. And what I mean by negative tilt, this trough is actually tilting back to the left here. Um, when it gets this negative tilt to it, that actually increases the wind shear, especially ahead of this 500 millibar vorticity. You also see these height lines spreading out. There's a lot of lift going on right here. And this has all the makings of a significant severe weather outbreaks. So you can see as the uh, whole thing kind of shifts to the east over time, kind of shows you, you know, what, what we're looking at as far as an overlay. Let me put the uh, 300 millibar heights on there. We'll, motion, we'll go back and forth with this, and it's kind of fascinating to watch this thing unfold. There it is rotating through. That is tomorrow morning, but we'll go back. There's 24 hours. This will start. This is 12Z this morning going out to 12Z tomorrow morning. Notice how this thing takes on a negative tilt right there. And that's the concern I have as this thing starts to develop uh, back towards the west. So you can kind of see how things are really going to come together, at least from an upper level standpoint, right over the southeast.